Hey everybody, hoping to keep this video on the shorter side, so I'm just going to kind of dive into it real quick here. Decided to respec my Soldier Oathkeeper. I have been running Eye of Reckoning with a two hand. With this, the Infernal Brimstone, so I've done all elemental damage. I've decided to do a big respec away from two hand. I'm going to go shield, actually, going to try a Retaliate build. So focusing, I think, on Righteous Fervor, and then of course, uh, Minhir's Bulwark with lots of shield skills. And I've got my devotion set up. I've got my gear mostly picked out. I don't have a weapon yet because I can't decide. I'm hoping to pick up more of this Stone Guard set because this all looks kind of perfect for what I'm doing. Um, but I've only got one piece right now, just the weapon. So I might run this Buckler for now. So I'm starting to look at my resists and set myself up to start farming you know more serious content and and so I'm sitting here and I just went through all this if you watched my pet death knight video I just respect that character to be Krieg set and so here I am looking at all my resists again trying to get these set up and I'm like this is such an exhausting process the only way that I really know to do this the, the way that I go about it is I look at vitality aether and chaos first because I feel like those need the more specific slots those are kind of harder to get aside from the the little in the augments aside from augments because those are those are pretty easy to go by um, but like you know helmet for example this sanctified bone I think is only helmet and chest and so I normally try and line those up first and then I look at after that I go to like what's my greatest need so right now I feel like it would be pierce poison probably next and then probably bleed an elemental like but I'd probably try and do something in that order so I'd probably do pierce and so I'd probably say well where can I get pierce and I'd look at augments and I'd look at components it's it's just it's a lot of like jostling around and trying to remember you know say I'm looking at okay say I'm I'm gonna do pierce on shield and maybe a couple of set aside I try and do components usually first and then I try and do augments usually last so let's say I set aside two slots for pierce for augments and then I'm gonna go shield that's gonna get me a some amount right and then I'll look at poison next I love my Ugden bog leathers I thought they're super good so I'd probably try and maybe set up a couple of those and then I would look at bleed next and so forth and it took me several hours to finally get that done on my death night like two whole evenings I think I spent doing that and so I was just wondering you know kind of pitching the idea out there does anybody have a different system a better system a more streamlined way of doing it is there like a spreadsheet is there like a mod that like you can upload all your gear into that will like make recommendations I'm just kind of wondering out there because part of my problem is like let's say I get myself all set up real perfect here um, maybe I just maybe I run this for now and then I get all my stuff to I think 83 is going to be my cap because I'm running this adds three max all I don't think I've got extra max on anything else so let's say I get everybody up to 83 and then like I find a new piece of stone guard and that's gonna have different resists on it like let's say we find the belt so this has uh, actually none so then if the belt has any resists that like frees up other components right or augments or something so I don't know I was just kinda gonna pitch the idea hopefully to the kind of the community at large and be like is there like a really elegant way of handling your resists because there's so many and for me it's it's a very time-consuming process to try and optimize everything and one thing I don't like to do is make say one of those topazes runebound topaz I think it's called the nice big defensive ability one with shield block yeah this guy this is a great component but that's a lot of mats I mean eight Ugden blooms is kind of a lot and then as you guys can tell, I only have 35 Aether Crystals on me. So sometimes making these guys gets, you know, have to go out and farm those too. And what I don't want to do is 
Say I put this on a ring and then later on I need to replace that ring. I don't particularly want to destroy the ring to recover my component. And at the same time I kind of don't want to lose the component just because I got <clears throat> a ring that's like maybe a side grade or maybe like a set piece that I'm going to slip in. And so I have to go and make a new one. And I'm bringing that up because mainly what that does is until I have a lot of slots that I like, like this is a retaliation build. I think this is going to be the chest piece, the go-to chest piece. I think these pants are going to be the go-to pants. So I could put really nice things on those. But this helmet, for example, it already had the sanctified bone. I didn't put that on there for this build. That was actually part of my uh, elemental set my Eye of Reckoning set. And so, do I put a nice big component on that if I didn't have one? These guys, usually jewelry for me, unless it's a set, I just kind of try to plug what I need. Like notice this has offensive ability and my offensive ability is really bad. That's mainly why I'm running that, not necessarily because I want Pierce or Vitality or Resilience, but they help. It all kind of seems to fit. But if something better comes along, I will switch. And so that's kind of my, my method. So what I'll do is I'll just go look faction by faction. And like I think there was one here that I wanted. Now I probably won't remember. But it might have been this one, the shield block. That sounds right. But I don't have enough rep for that, so I'll have to go probably do some bounties. And get my rep up, which isn't a big deal. But, so then I have to remember, okay, they have a shield block, percent health, augment at Devil's Crossing, and then I'll go look at Rovers, and then I'll go look at Black Legion, etc. And it's a lot to catalog in your mind. So, i uh, just pitching the idea out there, maybe trying to get some conversation going. And, um, I'd like to hear about some, others people's, some other people's experiences how they go about things. I'm really curious um, to hear what anybody else has to say about how they go about it. So I would look forward to any feedback uh, and thanks for watching.